Welcome back to Chasing Green. We've come to this same marsh here on the public ground and we've hunted it three times in a row and killed our limit every time. It's been amazing. If you hadn't seen those other videos, we'll link them down below. Uh, it's been some of the best hunts we've ever had. Big groups of mallards in our face, in the decoys. So I highly recommend checking that out. So the ducks have been kind of working the other side of where we've been and we've been more just pulling them uh kind of getting them to go where they really don't want to so we've crossed this um this open hole we've been hunting today to the other side the wind's better for it uh, we hadn't hunted here yet so we don't know how it's going to go we're going to give it a little bit and if the ducks are looking like they want back where we where we've been hunting we're going to head back over there so me and glenn are about to get out here in the spread and uh, muddy this stuff up. We noticed where most of the ducks have been wanting it was way muddier There's a lot of like seagull birds and stuff in here and where they were sitting was just super muddy and the ducks have definitely been pulling to it There's no doubt we didn't realize that till we got over here So we're gonna try to muddy it up the best we can and we'll probably go out there periodically and re muddy it up Lord willing it's about to be a beat down hang with us Nothing, huh? One green head, but we're still landing. Can you go to the pool? No, it's pintail. If it gets close, you better shoot. Yeah, if he flies there, we should definitely shoot. <laughs> Who's this image? You want him if he comes in? It don't matter, you can see him, you really want one. Okay. You better see him on his pass. I didn't know if I were going to get another pass on him. He was a good shot. That was all you. I missed him. Well, you finished him. He's Arkansas, boys. I had Pitching another man. chance at a pintail break. That was going to be the only shot. Oh, that, that's what I thought. I thought that was the only chance. I mean, we could have given him one more circle, maybe. I don't. I think that was good. Here, I've seen it. Sit. I, the past three days, that's the closest one I've seen. I've seen a hundred pintails since we've been up here. Not one of them's had a sprig. Yep. Girl, hand, hand. Good girl. That's where that PM comes in. If you got to take it, I don't like taking that either. But like you said, um, he probably wasn't gonna make another pass. What do you think the distance would be on that shot? Forty. That's kind of what I was thinking. Right about maybe a little more.
thought they were gonna do it. Well, we had a group work us there for a second, but they did what the last one did and bar let us out in the middle. <coughs> motion's killing us. We better shoot them if we get a chance. Well, we were hoping to get a good hunt with Elliot, and we just can't make it happen. We're still seeing a good bit once it started getting later, but we're flying a lot higher today. And just in general, not really reacting like they have been, so. There you go. There you have it. Uh, it's like day six, seven, I don't know what day it is, but anyway, me and Glenn had to take off two days to catch up on this life stuff. We had to do laundry. Uh, we had to do a, a lot of editing. We're way behind on editing. I mean, our days have been 12, 13 hour days of hunting. Basically been hunting all day. Uh, we're in full hotel mode right now, so we're just trying to get all our stuff back organized. Been having to load and unload every couple of days. And so we're taking the next few days off to get everything together today, and then we're moving west tomorrow, Lord willing. We're gonna try to head to another part of the state uh and get on some ducks there it's been phenomenal here so it's kind of hard to leave but kansas has a lot to offer and we want to go see some other parts of the state plus we've heard that the real you know the best part of waterfowling in kansas we haven't been to yet so uh, we're going to try to head head west tomorrow morning after we check out we've already kind of done some looking and found some places to stay out there uh, we're getting tight on money so we're about to have to start really uh making you know conscious decisions with how we're spending but uh we're we're just uh trying to get everything together here and it's gonna we're gonna kind of restart the process after today we're gonna get there get settled get in the hotel we're staying in and then start scouting uh, we know nothing really about uh the places that we're headed so uh we're just gonna scout till we found them uh we've been looking at the waterfowl reports that the state puts out and so we kind of have an idea of what's going on in some of these places uh, whether that holds true or not it's yet to be seen but there's definitely some ducks that have moved in off this cold front we're going to get there do a lot of looking a lot of scouting hopefully it don't take long because we run into them quick and we're going to get get to hunting as soon as we can but yeah just living our best hotel life at this moment Thank you. I'm about to get a travel bag real quick. Great value travel bag that is. Towels didn't get quite dry. 
where you want to eat. Don't worry, man. Somewhere cheap. <laughs> Somewhere cheap. That is key. Telemarketers have found where I moved to. Did they? Yeah, because now they're calling me on Colorado numbers. That's crazy. I'll say there's no restaurants. I know there's a few. Because I just see them. I think they're all in the square. Yeah. Chinese. Either Chinese or Mexican. Karate. Kansas Karate and Weapons Academy. Sounds like a cool spot. That's the China place. Kind of looks like a drive there. China. We better mask up. You ready? Ready if you are. Let's see what they're about. I say we have crossed the sweet tea line. No sweet tea on sweet yeah. only. That's insane. I didn't even know that. Yeah. I've always heard that, but I didn't believe it. Yeah. What are you gonna get? <laughs> Probably pepper steaks. Like I would do it. Probably the combination yeah. platter um, with the crab rank. Yeah. I'll probably get an egg roll <laughs> and fried rice. I don't know what meat I'm getting. Yeah. I'm gonna go for the jail yeah, sure probably. It's the one that's like the sauce, ain't it? Yeah. Yeah. Are you want? Hey. You want to pray? Okay. I'm ready. <laughs> Looking good. Well, how was it? It was decent. I've had better. I've had worse. Uh, I thought mine was pretty fire. <clears throat> it was definitely good. I ain't saying it wasn't good by no means. I'll take it again. It just wasn't the best I've ever had, I guess. Patience is the key to joy. What a crack of crap. Yeah. How many miles have you been on this trip? 